what does that bird, what kind of bird is that? What kind of bird is that, y'all? The whole bird is a bird family. So, it's not to bring any division. I know it could look like one or dot, 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 but what actual bird did that bird symbolize and represent to our ancestry? What bird was that? There's a particular bird. Falcon? Good guess. Good guess. Nobody's wrong. Don't ever get it twisted because they all still family. But that's that's not the whole answer. What bird is that? Oh, what bird is that? Some just flashed across the screen and gave it away. But what bird is that? <laughs> nope, not the eagle. Not the eagle. We have the eagle in. Eagle over here. Not a hawk either. Everybody missing this one particular bird. Mm, mm, mm. Not an eagle, not a hawk, not a phoenix. Ow! Bingo! Knowledge! Now I'm about to give you the knowledge. Now I'm about to give you the owl ledge. That's why the word owl is hidden within knowledge. This being symbolized owl. The knowledge, the night owl, the owl, y'all got it right. That's the owl. That's why a lot of your words end with A-L, owl, chemical, medical, physical. You're saying owl, but you're spelling owl. You get my drift? Owl, owl, Nile edge. See it on the edge? It, Nile, oh, oh, hold on. I'm going to show it to you in hieroglyph. You want to see what knowledge look like in hieroglyph? Hold on. You want to see what knowledge look like in hieroglyph? Hold on. Watch this. Not in English and in spells. Watch this. Hold on. Now I'll edge. <laughs> right triangle. Right mind. Remember the, the edges and everything I showed you with a lot of the other imageries we had? I'll edge. See it right on the edge of your shoulder blades right on the edge of your shoulder blades oh we finna go in you ready knowledge i told you moamian is in stone just like knowledge is and everything else we want to make sure you know how to read actual hieroglyphs too not just spells come on y'all y'all ready oh oh there go the spinal cerebral spinal fluid broken down oh you ready you ready y'all ready there go your G right there. Ah, oh, don't don't get it. Ah, oh, there go the G right there. Oh, no. Oh, let's go. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? One red pill, blue pill, clear pill. Y'all wanna go deep? Y'all wanna go deep? Y'all wanna go deep? You ready to go deeper? That's a owl, G. <laughs> it's a owl. And over here we had the actual eagle slash hawk. So this shows you that our culture was the exact. Same. Hold on. Let me bring this over so you understand we had the same teaching on both sides of the world. Oh, remember this one I showed? Hold on. I told you to keep an eye on this one. Hold on. One moment. Where you at, G? Not this folder. Uh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, let me go back to my website. Actually, my page. So now you understand this a little more. Hold on. See this? This is the actual cerebellum of your brain. Cerebellum is more sacred than you think. That's the bell. That's why it's shaped like a bell. What's at the top of our churches? Bells. Bells. Cerebellum is upside down like a bell. That's how I know that's the cerebellum of your brain. That thing is very sacred. Saved by the bell. Get my drift? Saved by the bell. The cerebellum. Sarah. Don't look at how they spelled it. They call it Sarah. Somebody in the Bible named Sarah, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, I ain't gonna go too far with that, but yeah, sorry. Hold on, let's go back. So you understand how sacred works all over. Hold on. So you understand which post I'm talking about particularly. And you learn how to use these works, because I want you to know how to use these works, because these are to be used. And I just looked at it and all oh, didn't. Oh, learn it. Hmm. 
It's a matter of listening, seeing, hearing, feeling. It's a matter of all of these things, all of your senses. We guide people back to their senses. That's what mental magic specializes in. That's one thing that we master over here. That's one thing that our curriculum actually helps with. That's why these different beings represented different body parts because these different body parts are all tied to different senses. And we guide people to their senses to help them use their common sense. Because when you're trying to be something you're not, you're not using your common sense. When you're trying to be someone you're not, you're not using the, the sense that God gave you. Anytime you're going outside of that, we just want you to just be your natural sense, your height, your natural tone, your natural vibe, your natural body. Your nat that don't mean you can't do this. That don't mean you can't do this. That don't mean you can't switch up your voice. That don't mean you can't switch up your hair. That don't mean you can't switch up your, your shoes, your this. It. We're, not, we're not here to hate on nobody's culture. Don't ever get it twisted. You get what I'm saying? Our ancestors is all about all of these things. But no, this right here. This is the bird on our side because there's two different birds in the head. And this is the bird on this side. I want to say our side because this whole world is ours. Believe it or not. Because there's actually two sides to this world on another side that the people on this side of the world don't see. But we'll talk about that later. I'm saying a little too much publicly. This. Look at the brain. Oh, so what must the owl might represent and symbolize? See the bird right there? Oh. Mm, that's an eagle right there, particularly, or a falcon. That right there, but primarily an eagle, as you know, by the big beak. You get my drift? So this is how you know that, once again, the original America, that's why they have the eagle on the back of the dollar. And I, and I showed you all the original seal that came from our Moamian Codex. You get my drift? So, like I said, there's things that we reveal to people that they no longer reveal to people that we got to make sure we reveal to people. You know, uh, if they're if they're ever willing to learn and grow and want to build with us and bond with us or whatever the case, but well, you don't, don't got to force it on nobody or nothing. You get what I'm saying? Uh, but it's, it is some deep. This represents and symbolizes your ventricle system. When you see this man right here, oh, we finna go deep. See the eye? The eye. That's why the bird is separate. The bird is actually separate. Here's the beak. That's that going around it. That's that around it. And this is the actual vent trickle system. That's why they talk so magical. It's called trick. They got the word trickle in it. Vent trickle. You get what I'm saying? The mind is very trickle, tricky. So when you actually look at this, you see the snake symbolizes the cortex around the ventricle system. The snake is actually separate. There's a seal in here that seals off the snake. So when you see the aisle holding the snake, this is the snake that the aisle is holding. The cerebral cortex or the cortex that's around the actual center part of your brain. Like there's a whole center part of your brain. So it's not that it represents one particular part. We're going to put it together as a whole thing. So I don't want you to see one little area, one little thing. Okay. And the wings symbolize the cerebellum. The what? Cerebellum, which is right here. It's the wings. That's on this being. That's why it has it right there on the arms. Right around the arms, because right around the arm section, your cerebellum is. That's why he has those wings sticking out, believe it or not. Now, same knowledge on both sides of the world. Now, let's go to this now. Oh, man. Is it making sense to you thus far? Though? Is, this, is it making sense? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, you think that ain't no owl? Oh. oh. Now, owl edge. Notice it has the loop around the face. Let's, let's start there. Notice that it always has the loop around the face. There's one particular bird that has a loop around the eye. Ah, oh, yeah, that's solo. You see what I'm saying? There's one particular bird that has the loop around its eye. And there's something special about this bird because it is the only bird that can go 360, 720, 1080. It lives in the cold, the heat, the this, the that. It's actually the parent of all birds. That's the sacred thing about the not the owl. It's the parent of all birds, believe it or not. I know that sounds weird to people right now. I'm not here to prove those type of things. I ain't here to claim those type of things, right? Just letting you in on something. So let's go to another image of the owl so you can see. Hold on. Let me do them side by side so you'll be able to see. All right, we're going to do these like this. So for one, okay, hold on. I'm getting the picture together. OK, 
Okay. So now let's bring these up so you can see what I mean. Okay. Now look at this owl. Ah, oh, yes. It's about to go in, G. You about to go in, G. What's up, G? And I, I mean, I got the bill still on the page, and you know, I, I, I just more so bill privately, G, so I can get to know my people. You get what I'm saying? I ain't trying to put out knowledge out there to everybody, you know, behind what we already put out, because I want to make sure people can comprehend, grow with it, and build with it. Knowledge. Hmm. Look at that knowledge. See how it's sitting right on the little curve? Knowledge. Now watch this. Look at the eye and look at the curl around it. Now let me bring this up. Okay, hold on, no, not that folder. Hold on, I don't want to see anything on my actual computer screen. Okay, now where you at? I need this picture. Boom. Look at the eyes. Look at the curl on it. It's an owl, y'all. It's an owl. <laughs> it's an owl. Look at the eyes. We all know that symbolizes the cerebellum. You get my drift? It's a particular part of your... It's an owl. Knowledge. I want to make sure you get the whole knowledge. More and more, G. What's up? You eating with me? That's what I'm talking about, G. I'm glad you're at the table with us. Right on, G. Mm-hmm. I just want to let you see that for a minute. I just want to let you see that because we about to even go deeper with it. You know, we even about to go deeper with it. I ain't done. We about to go deeper. I ain't done. I ain't done. I ain't done. So now, let's bring up another aisle so you can see. Okay. That's why it's also black and white a lot of times too. Now, watch this. Why would this particular owl have a what you look what you would think is a dog's body? Because there's something within this body region. See the edge right there, right behind it? Do you see that? Pyramid right behind it? Huh? You wanna know what this symbolizes? Let's go deeper! Red pill, blue pill, clear pill. Right, that's how we know it's an owl and what we're going to break down about it. Right, I want you to be able to see what these things are. What is this and why does it have that? Well, there's something sacred within you that has that, believe it or not. So now let's go deeper with this, okay? Let's go deeper. You want to go deeper? All right, deeper here, okay? Hold on one moment. Watch this. There's a particular part of your body that's a part of your ventricle system. Uh oh that has a tail right where this being would be so now you understand and it has the tip it has that right at the tip look at that this is right in the region of where it would be so look at the tail of it wraps around this is the thigh the thigh I'm also kind of giving you away where the sphinx might be but whatever I ain't gonna talk about that get my drift notice the actual tail that's the thalamus that wraps right around believe it or not this being symbolizes this so you understand why I'm showing you that part of your brain hold on this being symbolizes this part right within your head and right within your brain this hold on, I'll bring up a more clear one actually okay look at this mm -hmm. and attached to this part of your brain hey is everybody coming in you're not late G. I'm gonna leave the video up attached to this part of your brain 
And it's going to be in our private courses and all that type of stuff. We got in our books and everything too, y'all. So I'm just, I'm just bringing it out to the public for you. Get my drift? So you see the actual face, which is that. That loop that's around the owl's eye is your ventricle system that's around the centerpiece of your brain, believe it or not. And when you see that flower-like petal thing that they're holding a lot of times, they're like kind of the open lotus and they have three of them, usually that's that flower right there. So I'll give that away to you too. You get my drift? That's the actual fourth ventricle. It's the fourth ventricle, believe it or not. But the actual face symbolizes this part of your brain, and this part symbolizes this part of your brain. Hold on. Where you go? See, that sits outside of what I just showed you, where this being actually rests at, or sits at, believe it or not. You get my drift? So, let me show you more. All right, let me show you more. Hold on. Oh, yeah, serious, G. Serious. Hold on. So now let me bring this up so you can see it this way. See, if you look at it this way, and we understand the functions of it, you know, it's good to know about how the body operate, but how the spirit and soul operate too, you know, and what our ancestors really meant by these things, because there's something sacred about you. So let me shrink this a little bit, shrink you a little bit. See the bird inside of it? That's the owl. It could be a falcon. It could be an eagle. It could be all of those, right? It didn't matter. The teaching was all over the world. It just depended on what those people wanted to honor. It depended on what those people chose. You get my drift? Right. Right. If I if my ancestry can't be respected, you know, I am going to delete the comments, you know. But uh, I, I'm not the type to play that, you know, just because we on the Internet and all that, you know, just still be respectful while you're here. You get what I'm saying? Have some control of yourself while you're here. I know we on the Internet, but that don't mean, you know, what I'm saying just still still have respect. Believe it or not. You know, what I'm, I'm going to delete the comments first. Uh, I make sure I guard and protect all of these type of things that I put out. You get what I'm saying? And I don't allow that. You get what I'm saying? So let's let's just stay focused. Right. I, don't, I ain't saying you can't say nothing ignorant. I'm saying keep it to yourself, and if you do say it, I'm just going to delete it. You get what I'm saying? File in the air. You get it? File of the air? Yeah. So this part would be right where the tail would sit. You get my drift? Right where the tail would sit. Mm. Mm. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see if I can find another brain picture. You see... This part of your brain, the limbic system, is the part that wraps around the owl's face. Because these are your inner eyes, y'all. I don't know what people have told you, but the hippocampus and the thalamus and all of that, this is what really sees. This is your real eyes. Is you have four eyes. You have two on the inside, two on the outside, and together they make one whole eye, the fifth eye, so to speak. One whole, that's the one vision that you see. A lot of people have mistaken and turned a body part into something that is not, and they over hype it and over exaggerate because you know. And, and I have nothing but respect for them, right? I have nothing but respect because they were learning and they were trying. But no, your real third and fourth eye and your real first and second eye is internal. This is what allows you to see in your dreams. This is the part of your body to where, remember, you can still see outside of your body. You don't need a body to see, but while you still have this body. And you see things from this particular mind when you're in your dreams. What what they call dreams, really, you're just on the other side of the world, right? Once you understand what's really going on, that's what allows you to still feel in this body. That's why you can still be crying in this body. You can still be hurting. And, and it doesn't happen when you just go to sleep. It could be happening while you're alive. A lot of y'all paranoid now and I ain't never did nothing to you. A lot of y'all do not like me right now and I've never done nothing to you. I've only done for you. I ain't never harmed nobody through no internet. I can't control people through no internet. I'm not out here to disrespect nobody, but I'm not out here to be disrespected either. You see what my intentions are every time I come out here, whether a normal video or whether a post. You get what I'm saying to build with my people. I don't want to argue. I don't want, I, I'm, I'm good on these type of things. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, four eyes is real. That's true. 
And a lot of people's physical eyes might be good, but these are the eyes that are blinded on the inside. These are the eyes that cannot see. So when you're talking to somebody and they're trying to see what you're saying, that's these eyes that are trying to align. These. So that's how you know that owl also represents male and female because a bird is not just one. And notice it looks like an egg because what do birds lay, y'all? Eggs. What do your inner eyes look like? Eggs, what's so symbolic about the owl of the bird? Huh? What's so symbolic about the owl of the bird, you all, huh? See, these are your inner eyes. Right inside the owl's face. These are your inner eyes right here, doesn't it? See, you have two eyes on the outside, right? You have two eyes on the inside, and together they make a whole vision. Get my drift, and here's the what wraps around. So this is, you know, all of this is the actual bird itself. Here's the wings, believe it or not. You get my drift? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Does that make sense to everyone? Hold on. What does eggs look like? Oh, oh, in the nest, because where does your brain sit? Right in the nest, the cerebellum. The nest symbolizes the cerebellum. And the egg sits right on top of that. And that actually sits on the tree, which is symbolic of your spine, your veins and all that. See, it's all symbolic, G. It's all symbolic, G. Hold on. And this is what that inner eye looked like. An egg. So that's what the Easter egg represent and all that type of stuff when they got the eggs and all of that. Yeah, birds lay eggs, huh? Huh? Clear. It's clear. Oh, yeah. That's the actual. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the nucleus right there. The nucleus. Huh? Huh? That's what I'm talking about, my people. Right? I hope learning more about yourself just make you. But no, look at this. This the owl. See, that's what wraps around. That's the eye. It's attached to the eye. That's why you see that wrapped around the owl's face. You get my drift? All of this stuff is, sim is symbolic of you and, and how special and sacred you are. Even now, you see, whenever you see it facing left or right, that represents right brain or left brain. That's why you see him going or her going right or left. People can take you right or people can take you left. That represents their mind taking you through this place. You get my drift? They might not see where you're going and none of them type of things. Oh, yeah, serious. Hold on. So, yeah, so you can see this. Now, I'm going to show you some more owl pictures. All right? I'll show you more of those pictures so you can see. That's the loop that you see around it. And the actual line that you see, that's the brain stem. The line that you see up under the loop. So, I can show you this. Hold on. So, I can show you more images now. Because now that you got more understanding, you'll hear what I'm saying. See, if you don't have understanding, I'll just be talking for no reason. That's why I give people time to grow. That's why I give you all time with, with the works so you can see, so you can really learn. I'm not just talking and you just think you know something. You're actually learning and, and, and fully getting it. So that's why this right here. OK, hold on. So now let's go to this. Right. So this is the cerebral spinal fluid that it's pouring because this pours it right down the center. Get my drift of all three of them. You see, it has a loop on the face. Mm hmm. Hold on, let me go to the next image. Shrink it. Okay. See, that loop that you see, that's what's going on right around the brain. That represents right brain, left brain. That's why you can be facing either way. You get my drift either way. Just go through these real quick. Hold on. So now you understand this. That is your inner eye. That is that thalamus that I just showed you. That is that actual egg. That's it right there. That's the earpiece right there, the sound. This is the brain stem, and this sits behind Osiris, Iris, the eye. This is inside of the eye. You get my drift? Very sacred and symbolic. And you see the owl right there, cerebellum with the wings. The owl is right there. You get my drift? That's your inner eye. Right eye, left eye. On your inner brain. That's what that truly symbolizes. You get my drift? It's happening in the arc. This is the arc. The arch. This is an arch. And you notice it turns red right here. Because if you look in the sun. If you actually go outside and you look in the sun. And you close your eyelids. What color does the sun turn or the sky turn? What, what color for those that have bear witness. That have learned with us. That grew with us. huh? You see it, it goes from this world. Over to this world. Uh, the law is all around. The law is within your heart. Yes, the law is all around you. The law is stored within your heart, as the Creator said. Within your heart. Yeah, turn that red color, G. 
Uh, still on the edge in that pick. Exactly. Bingo. See, we are intelligent. The whiteness of the robe symbolizes the actual purity of that. Oh, so let's keep going. And the eye actually has a cross in it, but we ain't going to go there. Crossroads. See what I'm saying? God and the woman, God and the man. So if you see a woman behind it, then that would represent a female. Ow. If you see a man behind it, that would represent a what? Masculine owl. That's how you know. And these are those two eyes in your brain, the thalamus. That's what it's holding right up here. See? Remember I showed you what the cobra uh, symbolized? And you see these two owls right up in this temple? These are those two eyes. And you see with that wrapping around? Hold on. So let me shrink it so you can really see. So you see that right there? Look. Boom. Boom. Boom, in her eyes, big baby. Got to make sure that's clear. Even if you blind, you can still see this. It's, it's a whole nother world out there, G. Trust me. Trust me. You see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can see that? Uh -huh. I'll give you a little time to see that. Like I said, man, I hope y'all really enjoying your time, too. Vine Prenection. That's what I'm talking about, G. We all getting it at the same time. Okay. Let me find something else. Hold on. Okay. Clear. That's what I'm talking about, G. See that inner world. Clear, G. Hold on. I'm going through another. That's fine. See, we guiding each other through that gray matter. This is what it's pouring. That clarity. Right? Them colors. Right? Because remember, this represents the tongue. Tongue and the eye. What, what does it represent? Your sound and your sight. The most two important things. Uh, the Cobra's broken down on my page, family. Whenever you got time. Here, I'll show you real quick. Whenever you got time, uh, I just I just wanted to reveal what I'm revealing right now. That's what this video is about. But now the Cobra is is you can go to our Instagram page. We have a YouTube page. We have a Facebook page, and here's my personal page. If you ever looking for this knowledge, but now this is what the Cobra symbolizes. Right, not just trying to. I'm just trying not to get off track. That's all. Just trying to vibe and just here you go. The throat, the trachea. That's what the cobra symbolizes. See what I'm saying? So, and it breaks it down for you, you know? And you start to really learn about it truthfully. The head sticking out is the actual tongue. Yeah, we, we gonna talk. But yeah, nah, all this. But yeah, so hold on one more. Hey, what's up? Yeah, sun, moon, stars, G. We holy. All that, G. I can't tell them things. You know what I'm saying? We was guiding people. That's why I'm thankful for y'all that really walk with your boy. You know, I know at that time you probably questioned that. I was questioning that. So, these two eyes symbolize that thalamus down there, or those two eyes that I just showed you. Remember, this extends to your two eyes that's outside of your head. These are those two eyes inside of your head. You get my drift? So, hold on. So, you know what I'm talking about. That's these. Which also look like boxing gloves. Look like they'll knock your ass out. That's these two eye parts right here. You see inside it say. So see brain stem and all of that too. Oh yeah, so it's very, very oh, trust me. Hold on, let's see. Next picture. So, see, guiding a woman through the darkness, or through the light. No, so that's a white background. If you ever see a white background guiding it through the dark, you know, the white. See what I'm saying? It ain't dark over there. Everybody got to be guided through dark. See? That's actually the central part of your brain. Hold on. So now let me bring up another brain picture. See that? See that? In our eyes, G trying to find the clearest pictures I can of all of this stuff. So you see that loop and you see the egg inside of it? That's the basal ganglia. They call it that. That's the loop that's around it. And the thalamus. The thalamus. Thalamus. Right inside the put amen. The what? Put amen. You get my drift? There's a certain special sacred part of your body for those that might not be aware within yourself it's very sacred you see that inner eye see very sacred 
Yeah, and you're technically not dreaming. You just live on two sides of the world. Yep, you just can see on both sides of the world. That's all they represent. They want you to think this is the only world there is. And really, they don't even own this world. They just own that world that people got in through learning their spells. Believe it or not, that's how you got there. So yeah, it's one big egg in your head. You get my drift? One big egg in your head, and it has those multiple eggs in it on both sides. And that's symbolic of the uh, owl and the tree. You get my drift? All of these are different parts, so it represents a whole as a whole. It doesn't just represent one little part of your brain. It's representing the actual whole part. So now let me show you this of what I mean. Hold on one moment. See? Look at this eye. That's your real inner eye. Boom. Thousands. Now, if this symbolizes the, the owl and the bird, the snake that it's holding is the cortex around the owl and the bird. So now let me show you the owl and the bird. So you see like what I mean when you actually see this hieroglyph. Like, ah, uh, I get it. Hold on. Yeah, that mirror, Jay. Look in the mirror. You know how people always say, look in the mirror? Okay. Where's the mirror? <laughs> Where's that mirror, big buddy? Where's that mirror? Look inside. Look in, look in the mirror. Mm-hmm. What if you lose your eye? 